you started Monroe and Associates right. and then started working on the right. EV1. That was 89 Wait. up to 92, the EV1. It was so secret at General Motors. We didn't have it at GM. We rented a church that was close to GM. Wow. And it was uh, Our Lady of Electrification. But I used to race cars like on the track and stuff like that. And I knew what fast was, I thought, until I got into the EV1 and this was not filtered. So there was no uh, no governors or anything like that on it. We went up to the test track. I hit the accelerator and I about shit. I, I I was very excited. <laughs> <laughs> it took off like a rocket ship. I'd never ever experienced anything like that. But it makes sense. If you look at an engine, you'll see that there's a power curve, right? What does it look like for an electric car? Straight up. Yeah. You've got it right now. There's no instant uh, power. None of that shit. You don't need that. It goes right to the top and it just stays there. You don't really think about that if you're an engine engineer. You always, oh yeah, the power curve and where's the maximum peak performance and what RPM, blah, blah. It doesn't, none of that, none of that stuff matters when you have an electric car.